Hey everyone, as you can see it's spring time here now in Ireland. It's the time of all the weeds and the wild plants and all of the plants in fact to be flourishing. And my garden at the back and at the front is actually filled with dandelions and dandelion flowers. So many that I just can't juice and blend enough in my green smoothies and in my juices. So what I'm doing is I'm going to make a tea. I also tried dehydrating them to make it into my own wild superfood powder that I'm making. But they just turn into the into the, the the part that blows here. There we go. There we go. So I'm just gonna like pick a hole out of them. And you can take the stems if you feel like it. The stems are more bitter and the flowers are more sweet. You can eat them of course, uh, you can blend them, you can juice them. Or if you have a bounty like this you can make a big tea. So I'm gonna go inside now. There's some of my, my chopping wood and stuff. And there's my compost heap in the corner. So here we are, I have some getting ready to dehydrate. Of um, that's, that's wild plantains. So I can pop these in here because there's no, sometimes if you, a bug or a ladybug, a ladybird, ladybug. So just make sure you don't start cooking all of them. Um, here we can see some of my dehydrated flowers are turning to the fluffy part. So, so here we are, I already have a few made and all you need to do is just cover this over, bring it to the boil, let it simmer maybe. if, if you, don't, you don't even probably need to let it simmer but if you feel like it you can bring it to the boil then lower it and let it naturally simmer as it cools down for about a minute or two. And there you'll have a lovely um, lovely dandelion tea. This is my second batch. I already made one a few days ago and it was really nice. So it's dandelion flowers are a wild superfood basically. They're full of lecithin which is one of the best things for the human body which is great for your cell membranes and every cell has a cell membrane. It's great for your red blood cells, your brain and your eyes. So I take them primarily for my eyes, for my vision and my eye health, but I take them for everything else too really to be honest. So there's also other nutrients and minerals and trace minerals and lots of other things in the actual flower itself. So it's one way to get free organic, even better than organic, food into your diet for free. And it's also enjoyable to go out there in nature and to pick it yourself. So hope you maybe Get out there this spring. Pick some of your own dandelions and your own your own your own grass, even dock leaves and tree like clover and all sorts of things. Many other wild flowers are edible. For example, the English daisy, the little white one, that's edible too. And as are the daisy leaves. So feel welcome to look at my other videos, and you'll find more about wild edibles and wild superfood greens and. Enjoy spring and summer this year. Okay, well take care and lots of love. See you now. Lovely beautiful bees.